sorry y'all, my hands are kind of full. But we just got off the plane. I'll try to be more steady once I put my bag down. But yeah, we made it. It was eight hours. I had a good flight. I couldn't sleep for some reason, but it's gonna be a lot more footage to go. So I'll see you guys soon. So yeah. Just left the lobby where we checked in and we have really nice things on display. I really love this place because of the decor. They have like these little areas. Like look at this. I'm probably gonna explore a little bit more, but I wanna go check out my room. the bar area that they have. I really like the vibe. Look at that. I'm definitely going to come by there later. And I know they have a restaurant and other um, things on the grounds. So down there is probably where you can do breakfast too. But I'm going to um, check out my room first. And if anything, tomorrow when I go to breakfast, I'll record that. So... I'll show you guys when I get to my room. So I'm still walking to the room and they have like this auditorium area and there's so many places that you could use for like event spaces. Oh yeah, that's, it looks like that was a cinema, but I wanna sneak in there that you guys can kind of see. They even have a balcony. So I'm sure they have shows and things featured there. But this place is really nice. And basically later today, I'm gonna go do a mini golf tour golf cart tour they're gonna drive around the different sites because i kind of felt overwhelmed with all the things that i could do so i said let me just at least do a drive by so that i still see things even if i don't go inside of them like the vatican coliseum there's so many more to even name so that's what you're going to see from the first day the next day we're going to do a food tour well, two food tours, one in the day and one at night. But you'll see once the footage is put together. I don't even know if I'm walking the right way, but yeah, the next clip you'll see is gonna be me going to my room. Okay, so y'all remember how I went down that long ass hallway? It's definitely going the wrong way. Um, the elevator wasn't working, so I'm just gonna walk up to my floor. But this is really nice. Honestly, I wouldn't even be mad if I didn't leave the hotel for these couple days that I'm here. But we didn't come all this way just to lay down as badly as I want to. But I like it. The people are nice. I even had a driver take me to the hotel. And he was very friendly, telling me about a lot of things. So that was cool. But I'm going to show you all the room in the next part of the video. So I just came in the hallway. That's kind of how it looks for the rooms. Other thing I forgot to say, I actually got a free upgrade to a deluxe room. So you're going to see what that looks like. But right now I got to go back because my key isn't working. But that's okay. I'm not mad. Okay, you 
guys. So we just came in. This is the room so far. This is the bathroom. It's a little cute and cozy in here. I'm sorry, I have stuff in my hand, so if my angles aren't that great. And this is a nice room, it's comfortable. This is, I think that's where we came in, that's the entrance. But yeah, I like this size room. I'm trying to figure out what I had before, but I think it probably would have been the same size, but who knows, but yeah, this is my upgrade deluxe room. But yeah, this is home for the next couple of days. I know this is a closet behind here too. Y'all probably wondering in terms of um, storage. So I'll show y'all that. Ooh, sorry. Again, I got my bags in hand. So a little fridge with some wine and some drinks. You can hang stuff up, up top. Yeah, this is it. So I'm gonna probably film some videos on different topics as I walk around and explore so if you want to see the scenery you might have to watch some of those but i'll try to include some separate things here so that you don't have to sit through it if you don't choose to but yeah uh give me a few minutes to get settled in and then you'll see the next clip of me walking around and exploring a little more more things and footage I wanted to go outside, but they um, closed the doors. So I can't film that area, but this is like another area probably where they have dinner. Some of the courses. Maybe I'll come here for dinner. I'm gonna see how I feel later. I'm still kind of full from the plane. I think this is where they do the breakfast. So I'm probably gonna try this tomorrow because I don't think it starts for today. But yeah, I'm probably gonna go outside now because I think the other side is just more rooms. And this is the bar I showed y'all already. But I don't know if I'm gonna get a drink now. I think I'll save that for later because I had a lot of wine on the plane and I need to spread it out. Um, I guess we'll go outside. I think it's probably gonna be a little chilly. So I'm probably gonna, um, I don't feel like going back for my jacket. I have my, this is cool. I mean, I have my jacket upstairs. I have my scarf right now. But yeah, you could just imagine coming here during like the summer month. I don't remember when that is. Like my taxi driver told me about it, but I forgot. <laughs> but I feel like it could be very nice just imagining the type of things and events that they have here. But I'm still gonna try to walk around and grab some other footage. I already recorded some videos before. So I'm sure they could probably close this and have an event. And I had already seen people kind of giving tours. So I'm sure there's probably been weddings and other things that go on here. This kind of reminds me of the place that I stayed in London. If you guys go back and watch that, I'm gonna try to see if I could link it at the end of the video, but it's giving that same type of vibe. Um, let me see. I'm just trying to keep a good pace so I can show as much in this clip. I don't really wanna walk on the grass if that's gonna be disrespectful or anything, but ooh, it is kinda chilly. And I noticed they have a spa too. I kind of wanted to do that, but I feel like I have to kind of pick and choose where I want to spend. And since I haven't done anything yet, I kind of want to hold off, maybe wait till I come back. Uh, Cause we're gonna do a tour 
to drive around and I usually have to get a souvenir or something when I go places just to remember. I probably kind of probably should have done something inside because it does feel chilly to be driving around in a golf cart in um, Italy but it's okay I'm not gonna complain I still want to take in the sights but yeah maybe I'll try to find something warm to drink before going to that meeting point I might just go back to my room and take a nap, but I think I have like a couple hours before I have to meet. So I really wanted to do the Da Vinci Museum. So worst comes to worst, I might just go there to kill some time before my tour. And then um, the tour is probably gonna be like, I think they said like two hours, but we'll see. Y'all get my feedback and my clips from whatever. I record and it looks like there's a park down there but we can't really get to it from here so you probably have to go outside and go around if it's even like a public space but yeah there's a lot of things going on to explore in here so yeah I'm not sure what's gonna be next but it's probably gonna be the tour so yeah, I'll see y'all in a minute. Because I feel like I deserve that. Why would I go from one cold place to the next? Don't ask me, but I really wanted to come to Italy. <laughs> but yeah, that's just a little commentary I wanted to add. Okay, so basically the part that got cut off was I was saying the next trip, I want it to be someplace hot, like a resort or something. Open. So this is like a little courtyard space. Walk with me, walk with me. If they kick me out, they kick me out. But I was curious to see what it looked like. This would be a little cool spot to have your drinks and have company. And everything's kind of connected. So you kind of have your little privacy or whatever. If you have a, a party, maybe a bachelorette, bachelor group, whatever it could be. I'm probably going to record like another video. Um, here so if you watch my other motivational stuff you'll see this as one of the backgrounds um, like I said I think those might come out before I do the the vlog for the trip because it's just easier to put those and just download it as soon as I get home but yeah I like this little courtyard area I, I could see it being a nice spot to be like when it's warmer just to chill out here or have a little get together or something but Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys the tour that I got in case you wanted to look it up. I've been using Get Your Guide. It's not sponsored, but it's just an easy way for me to look up things to do in the places that I go. So this was the specific golf cart tour that I took. And it does have the company name there too. So at least you know which one to look for. And then they let you have your tickets right there on the the website or if you download the app to make it convenient.
so it's basically just me. I got lucky on the tour and everybody canceled, so it's just me, so that worked out. So I'm at this fountain now where you're supposed to make, you make your wish. He said you make one wish and, no, you throw one coin and make a wish, throw two, you come back to Rome and fall in love, and three, I don't even know, but, um, yeah, I wasn't doing that. I'm just over here focused on my own wishes right now. And yeah, <laughs> I'm coming back to Rome on my terms, all right? So, sending positive vibes. We're gonna see if my wish comes true. I'll keep y'all posted. That's gonna be a manifestation story. So now I'm gonna go back to um, my tour guide and see where he's gonna take us next. But I'm having a good time. He's pretty chill and he's very informative. So I'm lucky I got to go by myself. This is a little earpiece or whatever, but I'm about to go back. Y'all gonna see more pictures of the other places we stopped at. By the fourth week, you'll be having, you know, bombs taken off the street and getting swords, which is a big no no. Everything. I just want to say that the tour guide was really nice. It felt like I was traveling with a friend, especially since he forced me to take these pictures. Most of them are all the same, but it was just funny how he was <laughs> taking so many pictures. But he was so nice, and I would definitely recommend. So I got this pineapple drink, obviously it's alcoholic, it's good, and then I got their house burger, there's a like different type of cheeses on it, the fries are good, it's like, you know when you have those diner fries, it's not like the seasoned ones, but it has a little bit of salt on it, so it's still good, like I could just eat the fries by itself and I'd be happy, um, Basically, I was supposed to go on a food tour, and they changed the date, but I haven't been feeling well, so I decided I'm going to leave the date early, so I can't even do it, and I can't get the money back, but it's whatever. Um, so this is kind of like my last meal. I didn't even get to do some of the other stuff I wanted to do, because when I'm just not in the mood to do something, it's, it's a wrap, but I at least had fun on my tour. You guys have seen that by now. So this is kind of coming down to the end of the video. I might do a recap when I get home. But um, yeah, the food is good here. I'll definitely recommend the hotel. Nice little getaway. But I'll do a little bit more feedback after this next part. And yeah. I decided I want to go home. Because I'm not It's cool, it's just me. I, I know y'all seen this before with Greece and other things. It's like, I think it's mostly because I'm not feeling well, but it, I feel like the tour that I did was really good. So I felt like I got to see everything I needed to see because everywhere we went, it was long lines. So I really didn't feel like having to go through all of that so I guess I'm still not sure what I'm looking for in terms of my travel experiences like obviously I want to have fun so
so I'm still figuring out what that fun looks like for me. Um, I think it's probably because what I really wanted to do, I couldn't do with the time that I had. So it's just like, okay, well, at least I saw main things that everybody sees. Um, so I think that overall, I'm still glad that I got, a, got to go away. So yeah, let me be grateful as always for that and figure out what it, it is that I'm searching for in these trips and stuff but I'm gonna go pay for my dinner and then I'll just do probably another video maybe when I'm at the airport or something going home but we'll see what I come up with um, go get something to eat it's pretty quiet This is where they have breakfast, but to see what they even have. Yeah, I guess they have fruits and stuff. And then let's just see what else. All right, so it looks like they got some, I don't know, that's even scrambled eggs, so what that is. Bacon, bread. Okay, so I got different types of croissants. Some with filling, some without. I don't know if y'all can even see it with the lights on it. Um, I'm probably just gonna eat the bacon with some toast. So yeah, here they have more toast and stuff that you could have. Ham, different selections of cheeses. Salad, I'm not sure who's eating salad for breakfast, but yeah, let me grab a plate and then I'm going to talk to y'all with my little summary of the trip. Probably when I'm at the airport or just when I get back home. Alright. Alright, y'all. Yeah. I know I look so tired. But, um, I just finished breakfast. So, eh. Y'all saw the picture. I don't even think that was scrambled eggs. I don't know what that was. It was just really watery. So, I didn't even eat that. The bread was good, so I ended up having like some boiled eggs with it and the bacon. And then like that grapefruit juice is really good. I had a second glass of that. So now I'm gonna go back upstairs. But I feel like um, I wanna be wowed by food. And I haven't had that yet. So I'm just thinking like, I kinda expected it to be better, but I guess most places will have that type of continental breakfast so you can't really expect much but I've had way better breakfast before but it was enough to fill me up you know at least to get to the airport and have whatever food is gonna be on the plane and I know I messed up because I had food tours planned out but I don't feel good so I'd rather go home than even try to push myself through that because I don't think I would fully enjoy it. Um, so maybe that's what I'm going to do like for my next trip. Find some place with really good food. Um, maybe like, um, what's it called? An all-inclusive resort. Because I feel like that's where I've been. I feel like that's where I've been and had the best, sorry, and had the best food options, like a whole buffet spread. So, um, I only have my scarf on because like, when you're going upstairs and you pass to the front entrance, you still feel a draft from the door. Sorry, I'm out of breath. It says we're on the second floor, but I did like two or three flights of steps to get up here. That's just me being lazy. But anyways, um, yeah, I feel like 
overall it's aesthetically pleasing like I really like the vibe and that's what got me because I'm like I want to feel like I'm in luxury you know try to manifest that type of energy for a place I go going forward you know once I'm rich I'll be able to go more places like that and experience more things that's the goal so I was like this will give me a little taste of that and it makes me realize like just because you have those experience doesn't mean like it's gonna feel like a drastic change in who you are like you still gonna feel like yourself going to these places doing these things having these experiences so it's not like it's gonna be some spectacular difference it's just gonna be you and now you can afford to do other things that you might not have been able to afford to do in the past and it's not hard to do even on a budget because this place wasn't for what I paid it's not as expensive as you would think if you plan ahead even if you do a couple days like it's, it can be doable especially if you had someone else with you to split it or even a group of people like for the room well even though my room got upgraded so I don't know what the the original one would have looked like but it was still between like two maybe three and I feel like planning ahead would make that not seem so out of control or too expensive or whatever because there's definitely places here cheaper but a lot of them give kind of like hostile vibes or it'll be kind of staying at somebody's place and I don't really trust that I mean you could anything could happen anywhere but that one it felt not as safe as this option at least I know they have security when you come through so if you're not staying here you're not staff nobody's gonna be walking in randomly and it's that type of establishment that gives off like you know safe whatever would take care of you type of thing so I felt comfortable like that's the main thing people would say traveling alone you is taking a risk or whatever but so far the experiences I've had everybody's been friendly I've felt safe even on the tours because I usually do stuff as a group but when I did the tour by myself you know still felt safe had a good time and you know just keep your bag on you and everything else it was pretty much fine and just made sure I had like a taxi or a ride to wherever I need to go so like me I'm always coordinating and planning stuff ahead of time but I feel like in terms of the activities <laughs> No, I'm not sick. It's just the air. Like, my room, I turn the heat all the way up. And then, you know, being in and out of that. But, um, yeah, what I would say is, like, I think what I'm going to do differently next time is not book everything. Because as you can see, I'll be moody, excited before I get there. When I get there, it's not what I think. And then I don't want to do anything. This is, like, the second time I left earlier than... I was supposed to I think I left early in Hawaii and I left early yeah it was just Hawaii and then this trip the other ones I think I stayed there but I, I think I always put on more than what I think I'm gonna do and then when I see that it's not what it is I get turned off and kind of want to just be done <laughs> so maybe try to be more spontaneous with the activities I guess um, but yeah, I can't really think of anything else. If I do, I'll put it after. If not, I'll just do like a short voiceover wrap up or whatever. But overall, it was nice. I feel like I would definitely come back and go to a different part of Italy, like maybe Venice, Tuscany, um, Amalfi Coast, because those are some of the places I saw that you could do day, day trips from here. So that's one of the things that I wish I did. In Tuscany I wanted to do wine tasting so I feel like maybe if I stayed over in those areas so I didn't have to deal with a two-hour commute just to get there then I would have been like okay I'm down for that or it's easy for me to get a ride from where I'm staying to there so I think that's what I would do differently stay on another side because I didn't realize how far away from that how far away from Rome those places are so it would definitely seem like maybe I'll do Venice since that's the other airport I'm familiar with but I have to see if we even have those flights or if I would have to go through Paris or whatever because I'm not trying to do any connecting flights so 
yeah just stay tuned i feel like we're gonna switch up the vibe for the next place go somewhere warm probably gonna be like i said before um all-inclusive resort so that i know like it's gonna be different restaurant options or at least a buffet style for the food um still can do tours there obviously but you know maybe they'll have rides for you already accounted for so i won't have to feel uncomfortable going outside of a resort at least just be with a group or a private a private tour or something so um yeah i'm just gonna finish packing up my stuff um so i could go to the airport and figure out uh my my flight situation and then yeah i think i pretty much did a conclusion already and i try not to be annoying and repetitive so there's not much else i can say i'll see y'all later i hope y'all enjoyed the video thus far well this is pretty much it but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed what i had to show you and maybe that inspires you motivates you to travel to italy or just travel in general don't be scared to try new things just plan ahead and if you can go with a friend that would probably make it more fun but also don't be afraid to take care of yourself and do stuff that you want to do because you don't want to be waiting on people forever if you could do something just think of what you like to do for fun and plan it around that and yeah life life is really short so you got to take advantage of what you can when you can because anything could happen okay so what i wanted to do was recommend this car company even though i didn't book them through through a direct way when i went to booking.com and had my hotel it was just easy for me to book a car service to make sure that i could not have to worry about how i'm getting to the airport safely or even getting to my hotel safely so the gentleman i have is very friendly and i would definitely recommend if you can afford it because i'm sure there's other ways that you can get to the hotel but for convenience and peace of mind they pick you up directly so i just want to shout them out You guys know how I like to do my little goodbye when I'm walking through the duty free. So I like their setup. I did want to get a fragrance, but I think I'd rather get something to eat or drink. Um, but yeah, just a recap. Kind of going to be repetitive, but overall it was nice. I really liked the tour that I went on. I lucked out because people canceled. so. Like I mentioned before, it was a private tour, basically. The tour guy was cute, too, so that helped. Um, but yeah, I think I'll definitely come back and do Tuscany, Venice, just something different that I didn't get to do. So, yeah, overall, I think if I didn't get sick, I would have spent another day doing something. But, um... Yeah, I just wasn't in the mood, so I wanted to come home. So, I'm going to walk to the gate now and just wait. Or maybe I'll get something to eat real quick. But I definitely need to get my souvenir, something to take away. So, I'm going to go do that. And thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy the content. And I'll see y'all in the next trip. All right. Yeah, they really have like a whole shopping mall in here, so I'm really feeling that. Unfortunately, it's not in my price range. Like I really walk in, walked into the Fendi store like I could buy that. I mean, you're gonna manifest it because I saw some nice bags that they had in there. But yeah, I still didn't get my souvenir and I feel like I left the shopping area. So this might just be a trip where I don't have anything to remember Italy, but I'm gonna see. I'm sure they gotta have a couple more stores before I get to my gate, but yeah. RP to that venue bag. If anybody want to sell me some money or something, we manifest in it. That's going to be my next success story. Give me a Fendi bag. <laughs> but yeah, let me um, go get settled in. Y'all probably not going to see me till I'm back home. Or, um, yeah, I'm sorry. I'll be repeating myself so much. But yeah, I think I see something, so let me go see. Let me at least get a keychain or something, or a t-shirt. 
So this was the Fendi bag I saw and they had it for $1,600. So if anybody wants to sell me or just surprise me with it, thanks. I learned to stop in the videos before I finish things. But, um, so I found something I wanted to get. I found this perfume and I found this bottle of wine that I never had before. And it was like kind of, the bottom was the shape of a, a boot, like a high heel boot. And then the top was like the shape of Italy. So I figured that would be like a cute little collector's bottle. Obviously I'm gonna drink it, but it's not that big when you take in consideration like the, the size of the actual bottle. So I feel like it's like a lemon cello thing. So I'm assuming it's like a lemon flavor, but hopefully I like it. And if not, I still have, I'll keep the bottle. And maybe that's something I'll do since I like drinking. I could start buying like bottles or something if it's like in the shape of a collector's item. But I'm gonna show you guys, but basically I can't even, um, I can't even buy anything cause I don't have my seat yet. So once they clear, my seat then I could um run down the hall to go buy it before getting on so yeah I must take pictures of it and include that at the end so y'all see what I ended up buying and then when I get home I'll edit everything together and y'all gonna see the full trip and yeah so this was the lemoncello bottle that I wanted to get I didn't end up buying it because I had to figure out some issues with my flight but I want to see if I could find it somewhere in the US and then try it but now you see what I mean like it's in the shape of Italy it would have been a nice little collector's item and I didn't get a picture of the perfume because I know I could find that anywhere but this is what I wanted to try So going home they gave us pasta. I didn't really like mushrooms because I think that's what the dark stuff was but th other than that it was really good and I had my red wine with me but um, yeah it was so good that I asked for a second plate so that's what I like about some of these longer flights the food has actually been pretty good. <laughs> 